Disturbing allegations tonight. The mother of two children who were photographed naked over 70 times by an Owatonna man speaks out about what happened. Good evening. Investigators say Michael Sherman may have been taking naked pictures of young children for years. On Friday, he was arrested for snapping dozens of nude photos of a four-year-old from Manorville and his 22-month-old sister. Chris Conti spoke to the mother and uh, those two kids today. He's live with more. Chris? Well, Tom, as it turns out, Michael Sherman had access to those children because he was a close family friend. Due to the sensitive nature of this story, we've chosen not to reveal that mother's identity. Sometimes things happen in life that are so disturbing, so unspeakable. We can only hope those affected may not remember. So I'm just glad that nothing else happened than what did happen. Especially when it involves a 22-month-old, her four-year-old brother, and pictures of their private parts. We let him into our home and trusted him to be around our kids, and look what we're going through now. Trust is something Lori doesn't have anymore. Because of that, she asked us not to use her real name. It's what you do as a parent, protect your children, and something like this happens and you feel guilty about it. That gut-wrenching guilt is rooted in allegations that Michael Sherman not only took nude photos of Lori's kids, but he also went so far as to touch them under their pants. When I walked into that courtroom, I never would have assumed that it would have been as detailed and as graphic as what I've seen. According to court documents, Sherman used his cell phone to take nearly 70 pictures of those two young children. And the Sheriff's Department says because of how technology is these days, they're worried those kids didn't even know they were being photographed. My first impression of it is that it's somebody that's been doing this for quite a length of time. The 45-year-old was a close family friend. He even babysat on a few occasions. We had no idea that he was doing what he was doing to our kids. Which makes what allegedly happened over the last 16 months even tougher to deal with. I'd like to kill him, but I'm not going to risk, you know, not being there for my kids just to get justice on him. Let the court systems do their work. Sherman is facing four different sexual related charges in this case. He was released on bail yesterday, but must wear a GPS tracking bra bracelet. He'll be back in court next month. Live in the newsroom tonight, Chris Conti, KTTC News Center.